everybody and welcome to the Weekly Fix. As always, I am Neil. We got some good news, updates and models from Yamaha Suzuki, a sneak peek at the new Mahindra Roxer, a $105,000 motorcycle, and the Wildcat XX has been released. All right, so I do want to apologize for our uh, delay on our episodes lately, but on top of the surgery I had to put my collarbone back together, uh, we've been going to dealer events. Uh, Leo cracked a rib, so he's been, you know, very incapacitated. Um, but of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, click on the bell so we can keep making these vids. So if you haven't seen it by now, it was released during Supercross a few races ago. Yamaha has introduced the new 2018 YZ65 Youth MX bike, which of course is a two-stroke and much needed. Because right now you had Cowie, Yamaha, or ya Yamaha, no you do now, uh, Husky and KTM all did it and now Yamaha's on board too. So all the blue, uh, blue bleeders rejoice because now we got a Yamaha to go competitively with the other bikes. Um, it's pretty cool though because they dress this thing to look like the YZ450. Uh, beautiful, uh, down to all the little options, flat seat, everything else. So good job Yamaha. I mean, we've been kids have been waiting for this. I wish I'd had one when I was a Grom, but no matter what, they're in the game and it's gonna be a great little bike. All right, so Suzuki has introduced some new 2018 colors for select sport bikes. These bikes are gonna be, of course, the GSXR 1000 and the GSXR 250. Uh, both of these, uh, I, we'll start with the 1000 first. That one is literally going to be a MotoGP inspired replica, so it's called the Metallic Triton Blue, and I'm sure you can click on the photo and check it out, but very sharp looking bike. The 250, gonna be the same color, but not as dramatic in the graphics, but still race inspired. So again, I mean, Suzuki, it's, it's a tough market in the sport bike, but I mean, they're making the right thing because honestly, it's one of the really only replica bikes out there besides when the Honda used to do the Repsol. So good on them, and uh, we'll be getting these things soon in the store, so stop by. Legendary heritage, indestructible spirit. All right, so Mahindra is making their way to the U.S. and what they're bringing is going to be called the Roxer. So, what is it? Uh, on the 18th of this month, they're going to have a dealer meeting in San Antonio. Uh, but to give you a little sneak peek here, this is pretty much a CJ5-like platform vehicle, uh, off-road only at the moment. Um, we've been told more for cruising so imagine like rock crawling uh, maxed out at about 45 miles an hour it's supposed to be a turbo diesel motor so that's kind of cool um, built just bulletproof and fully rebuildable all the way across on the way it goes so it's going to be coming in here soon um, it's pretty I mean this is a, a new not a new concept but it's new for the market that we're into um, and they're keeping it in the US so this is going to be fully assembled in Auburn Hills Michigan which is just north of uh, Detroit I believe and so stay tuned because we are obviously going to have a test ride coming up here in the next couple weeks. We'll give you our feedback, take you along for the ride, and uh, let us know what you guys think. Well, the big reveal was Sunday night, so hopefully you saw uh, some of the videos we put up because I was lucky enough to be there. But Arcticat slash Textron Off-Road has released the long-awaited Wildcat XX. So good on them on this unit because 20,499, extremely competitive. Naturally aspirated, 125 horsepower. This motor is a three-cylinder based off the Yamaha, but a CVT. So as we all know, that is a very buildable motor. Supercharger, turbo, whatever you want to do. They're offering kits, of course, to go from stock 64 where you'll be, 72 all the way to 77, which I saw, which was crazy wide. So. 30 inch tire stock, full doors, intrusion bar on the cage. Pretty excited about this car because it seems to just fit perfectly into where everyone's stacking up in the UTV market. So really cool car, awesome suspension style, class one buggy in the rear, uh, uneven A-arms. So make sure you check it out, check out the videos. We're excited to see this car and pretty soon we should have these things ready to go. And we know and you know it's been weeks, so here's clip of the week. <laughs> 